Staying in Chetwin, where the Senior Citizen Society is looking to raise $600,000 for Phase 2 of the Independent Seniors Apartments. Tuesday, they announced the official kickoff of what they hope will allow them to break ground by the end of the year. The planned housing would add 20 independent rental units for low to mid-income seniors. Chetwin Senior Citizen Society President Don Hicks. This is, if you turn the camera around, we, this is our, our lounge area where uh, residents can come, watch TV. Uh, there's certainly, we have a whole number of uh, volunteers in our community that come with guitars, uh, play the piano, and, uh, and get involvement with the, uh, the residents. And that's a lot of fun uh, for, for everyone. So uh, our dining room is, uh, is over here. And uh, our uh, residents uh, have uh, two meals here a day. They have lunch and, and supper. And uh, so you can see the, everyone comes and sits down and, and has, has a lot of uh, their meals. Uh, and the kitchen is at the end. Um, we have an outside uh, patio area, which is in the wintertime, doesn't look like much, but we have lots of uh, chairs and tables out there, and um, the residents get to uh, have uh, meals, and uh, we also have a garden area, raised beds, and, and a greenhouse, and so everyone gets to uh, grow their favorite uh, vegetables and flowers. Phase one, Serrera's Place, was actually a gift from the Olympic Legacy Fund. Um, as well as a gift from the Sereras uh, of the eight acres of land that we're situated on. Phase two, um, we, uh, we also uh, operate Little Prairie Haven and uh, there uh, it is 12 units of, of independent seniors apartments and uh, we've noticed that there was a real demand for those units uh, over the last number of years. And about 18 months ago, our society uh, started uh, with a need and demand study, uh, project concept uh, document, and a financial plan. And probably most importantly, in the need and demand study, it showed that there was a need for seniors uh, f uh, needing affordable housing in our community. Phase two, we hope to, to start the, the last quarter of this year. Uh, we've applied uh, to BC Housing for funding, um, for the mortgage, uh, and, and uh, for uh, the project development uh, funding grant. Uh, on our part, we have to start uh, a fundraising campaign, and we are looking at raising $640,000 and uh, we expect to do this through uh, donations from people, businesses, and uh, fun raising events such as auctions to, to come to, our, uh, to meet our goal. The proposed housing would be within close proximity to the existing Serreras Place site. BC Housing, in partnership with Vanock, would provide and install the modular units.